On John's solo records, though, the one that I did with him, um, called Shadows Collide with People, oh, cool. it, it started out as a much more collaborative effort between he and Josh Klinghoffer. It was a kind of a John and Josh project, which was great. And they were they were great friends and they were buddies and they were writing songs together and they were both in the studio together and there was a lot of happiness. Um, and those records are much more dangerous and, and chancy and, take, you know, just trying different things, trying to get different kinds of drum sounds by just not doing the usual, let's do it this way because we always do it this way. Like, it was more like, let's try something really different. Why not? If we hate it, we'll, we'll find something that we like, you know. Um, so John didn't really have to ask too many opinions when he was making his own record. He was very much in charge of, like, this is how we're going to do it. That's cool. So you just pointed out that John and Josh work together. If I may ask, if you had to compare the two of them, this is just a general question. How would you compare John and Josh as guitarists? Um, well, you'd have to look through time to answer that question. At the time that I was there, Josh was, you know, Josh was not the same kind of guitar player that John is. And John, by then, making his own record, then with the success of Californication and being back on his feet for five or six years and being really strong and playing guitar all day long every day, John's great. You know, John is great. He practices all day long. His whole house is filled with instrument and music and records. And he gets up in the morning and puts on records and just plays to records all day long. You know, he at least he did at that time. And uh, I, I don't exactly know how he and Josh got to be connected as friends. But I think they hit it off as guitar playing buddies and songwriting buddies. And uh, I remember Josh being great, but I don't remember him ever taking the heavy load at all away from whatever uh, needed to be done. John, I feel like John kind of still led the sessions and Josh was, you know, uh, he was great, but I don't remember him ever like taking it away from John in any way. Hmm. Is that an answer, you know? But and you got to remember that's a long time ago, and and uh, and that was only one one record with Josh. I haven't seen Josh in several years. I ran into him at a party a few years ago, and he looked great, and it's great to see him. But um, you know, I, I haven't worked with him on anything else. That's I haven't cool. seen him. Do you know if Josh's connection to the Chili Peppers was through John? Yeah, it had to be. I I, I mean I, I I think so because uh, I know that after we did the the Shadows record. Uh, he kind of went out on the road with them as like a as a second guitar player. There was a tour or two, or maybe more, where he was actually in the band and up there, you know, doing extra stuff because they're, you know, their their records got more complicated. If they wanted to play one of the newer songs, well, who's going to sing all these harmonies and who's going to play all these keyboard parts and who's going to who's going to do that stuff? So I think he filled in. It, it, I never saw the band with, with, with Josh in the band, but I think that's what the role was. I just needed more more muscle up there. I didn't really know what happened to John or why he got out, but it wasn't the first time he'd quit the band. So, you know, everybody's got their reason and everybody's maybe maybe he had enough. He just had enough and he just didn't want to get on the bus again. He just didn't want to go to a meeting. He didn't want to didn't want to go jam. He just had enough. You know, fair enough. And I don't know about the whole political situation about who what the marquee is supposed to look like. I, I thought I thought the Chili Peppers were great with Klinghoffer in the band. And so did they. And they did a lot of records and he wrote a lot of songs. And, you know, he was the only guitar player to step in successfully and keep the job for, what, 10 years? Klinghoffer really worked. Mm -hmm. And he brought new energy to the band, yet he honored the past. He could play like John, if he, you know, which you would have to to play some of the old songs, you'd have to play those parts, and he could. So I, when, I, when I saw it in the news, my heart broke a little bit for Josh, but at the same time, it's just business. Like, you know, the moon comes up and the moon goes down. It's like another day. 